resume the expedition and return to the planet. Louis, you repaid. I mean, we repaid the entire debt. Well done! Just look at the money we made off. I made off with this. Hey, wait a minute. Where'd Olimar go? <laughs> what? Uh, did you seriously forget him back there? Well, it sounds so familiar. I'll uh, have to go and rescue him. In this case, I shall not go. I would put my back. I would, but my back is killing me from our last trip. Still, you need some sort of help out there. I know what you can do. Oh ship! What? You said you would never actually do that to me. Uh, all I have to do is press this button. There, now the ship is a fully functional captain. Help you, you'll need uh, you'll need a ride though. I know you can use the Estes Dolphin I got back. I've only, uh, it only has one cockpit, so you know, something. Uh, well, good luck you two, don't come back until you find Olimar. <laughs> and there's our, there's our post game. <laughs> Our, our second half of the game uh, thing. So the final area of the game is Foreboding Forest, which we'll take a look at. I kind of want to alternate between Mystical Beach and uh, Foreboding Forest. Uh, but we got some stuff to read. Being Silver Empress Boblex. Except Olimar is still giving stuff on it, even though he's not here. This beast is a grub dog. Uh, this beast of a grub dog is, is a clear sign that these modern bulb varieties have much in common with the the old ones, uh, like uh, old ones. Like the others, this empress is somehow even more powerful than the already massive red empress. The silver color and cyan spots are rather bizarre. Make sure you don't underestimate its rolling attack. I think that's the only new thing. Yeah. And then the treasures, we're gonna read all the, the stuff with the new treasures. Again, one more time, again, if you wanna see me read all the, every single treasure thing, you can watch my original playthrough. Uh, I'm only doing the new ones with the Pokeball. A good tool for any space explorer is an escape pod for when things go wrong. Wait, how am I meant to use the escape pod if I'm the ship? Well, now you're a captain, but the game doesn't know that. Sometimes I swear they only think of people on board and not the trusty ship that makes the mission possible. Robots really are the uh, oppressed minority in the society we live in. Uh, the full thing, we have the salt. Inside this large can is heaps of salt. Salt is quite rare on Hokotate, so I imagine this could sell for a high price. I should try uh, to see how much I can get away with this thing. Time to restart my salesman mode. Uh, when me and Louie first saw this monster, we were prepared for an attack. Uh, well, we soon found out this whole thing is fake. Uh, I got us worried, uh, for nothing, at least we can sell it, so it's, uh, not a total waste. <laughs> also, knapsack, five-legged pajamas. We found this oversized pair of pajamas deep in the cave full of spiders. I hate spiders, so getting through it was not a pleasant experience. The giant silver boblax we fought at the end was the worst part of it all. Thankfully, we got through it, and we were rewarded... Uh, with this curious item, we decided to name that cave the Arachnid Asylum. So, like, why is he saying he was there? I mean, he was technically there, but not a playable character, and now he is a playable character, but, like, the text for before the cave was for Olimar and Louis, so I don't know why he's doing this, because you get that in the cave. I don't know. I think that's everything. So, I did say I want to alternate between Foreboding Forest and Mystical Beach. However... I feel like I, uh, we should go to the Wraith Cave. Like, that just feels like a thing we should do. Because I'm very positive that the Wraith gives the light bulb in this game. I think. I feel. Maybe. Because this area is really cool, but there's also really, really long caves in this area. There's one cave that has, I think, like 20 floors or something like that. Um, it's not even the final cave, too. Like, it has a lot of stuff in it. Uh, so... I think we're gonna make a detour back to Mystical Beach. So we can go do, uh, the funny level. <laughs> and I want to be prepared for everything, but now look. <laughs> Baby. 
Let me get rid of the face cam so you can see it. There you go. That's a thumbnail. Wow, I never thought I would be fighting on the front lines myself like this. As much as I hate this new body, we have to go on. Olimar is surely around here. Of course, we might as well collect whatever we find here while we search for him. The SS Dolphin has a rather large cargo bay, considering it wasn't made for this task. I'm considering it was made for this task. I think I read that wrong twice. I think I read it wrong. Also, so now we have, uh, Captain Ship. And, um... <laughs> the horn... And the sea stick thing are just money sounds. So, Captain Ship is now here. <laughs> Cromer. Uh, well, he also just makes ship noises as we go around. So we're gonna go... I think I can try and collect all of the above ground treasures. Uh, along the way. Also, I'm actually gonna need purples. So I need to put some of these guys away. I'm gonna need purples. <laughs> uh, to get the other thing. <laughs> I don't even think I need that many, but this should be fine. Try and dodge this. Alright, so yeah, this guy is here. I'm gonna try and lead him in the water. Cause I don't- I don't have the blues. Come here. Alright, well, he ain't one, but whatever. Give me all this deliciousness. Oh, I, I almost thought he grabbed the purples. I would've been upset. No, suck that up. Come here. <laughs> so we can get this. So this is part of the Wraith Cave right here. We need that. Uh, and I forget how I need to do this. Oh, no, stop it. Come here. So I think I need to throw them across, because I think what it wants you to do is throw them over. But I don't even think that's gonna really work, so... I think I can just throw them over and we'll be fine. Alright, well. Get out of the water. I should just have everyone together. Here, you know what? Fuck it. Alright, well, don't do that. Uh, what I should just do is... Do this. <laughs> like, why am I not doing that? Throw the purples when I tell you to throw the purples, please. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, and they brought the thing back. <laughs> Goo. Mario Paint. Aqua Colorizer. <laughs> I think this is part of the Wraith Cave. There's a purple on that. Don't do that. Uh, please get this. Uh, I'm gonna have some blues take this. Okay, just five. Just five. There we go. I'm also gonna just leave you here just in case. God damn it. No. Here, fine. Let's do this first. <laughs> just so I can guarantee the blues get it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now. I'm gonna wait for them to cross. And now I can do this. Don't 
go. So we have uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom Tiki Head, which I thought was really cool to see in this game. Especially now that that Battle for Bikini Bottom remake is now a thing since th this game first came out. <laughs> Mr. Ridgebug respawned. Okay, so I forget how I'm supposed to get that. Oh, it's that one over there. Alright, so I actually do need both of them here. Alright, well... Uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I'm not tabbed into the game. It's gonna make this a little bit quicker on me. Try and get like 20 on it. Okay, that should be enough actually. If the game would let me throw them up. Also, Tiki Box. <laughs> Look at it. Wooden target. Reckon falling off. God damn it. Oh my god. Don't. Oh my god. You really gonna be like this? Thank you. Okay, hold on. Okay, there we go. Just wanted to be perfectly sure. Okay, well, I guess Louie's gonna go back uh, to the ship. <laughs> and we'll wait for that. And some of these guys are just super far behind. Okay. So I'm gonna... Hello, Toto. Welcome to the stream. We're gonna leave you here. I'm gonna speed this up. <laughs> okay, duck, foul speedboat. That's not everything. There's still probably one more thing this way, but we're gonna get that later when we have to go to Subterranean Sands anyway. Come here. Okay, so I'm gonna hope I'm gonna hit the right thing first. I'm gonna hope it's this one. It is. So now, that moves him to here. Then we gotta go over here. Do this one. Okay, there we go. So I should have enough time. I want to get these berries back. Uh, to hopefully... Like, can we get one more? Um... Well, we're not going to be able to get one more, but... I'm still going to get the berries back anyway. And here we go. Uh-oh, I recognize that sound anywhere, uh, I recognize that sound anywhere. This looks like it has to be that, uh, to be a cave that has him inside. Okay, well, as much as it's against my better judgment, I guess we should go ahead in. How peculiar. It seems to be quite cold in here. How could that be? So 
here we go. We're gonna go in... Actually, where am I missing Pikmin? I got stuck on the fucking ledge. Uh, can I save them? So that we go in with more Pikmin. I want to go in with exactly 80. Can I save them? I think I can save them. I got stuck behind there. It's a weird hitbox back there. Come on. I know I you probably don't want to go in there. You, you blues probably have like PTSD from the first time. Alright, and then... Do that. 80 Pikmin. Palace of the Wraith. All hazards, but only blues. Can't believe we're doing this today. This is not what I planned on doing today, but this is what we're doing today. All right. Well, take a nice pour out a pour out a nice drink for my blue Pikmin. Hello, Pikmin. Welcome to the stream. So, yep, there are the bull bear men. Uh, so yes, this is uh. A submerged castle in this game. Uh, it's got some very eerie Luigi's Mansion music. Oh god, there's more of them. I'm not prepared. Come here. There we go. <laughs> so once again, you have to work super fast. You have to work super quickly because the Water Wraith will show up. This is Submerged Castle. Also, Pikmin's using Run and Add on the Twitch thing. Because I have a channel point reward for 20,000 channel points to run an ad. Uh, I gotta pull that up. Oh, it actually won't let me run an ad because of my automatic ads thing. Uh, so I, th I have a thing on Twitch that lets me run an automatic ad every 40 minutes. And because of that... It's not letting me do it. Like, I can't... I can't click the run and ad break button. So... <laughs> uh, I'll check back on that. Uh... <laughs> I like how they let you escape on the first floor. Fiery Blosif. Fiery Blowy Joey. So there's a, th a cool thing in this cave. <laughs> Namely these uh, treasures, which you can't really see it very well. Right now. Actually, your mod, yeah, you can just refund it yourself. Run into the frickin' fire, dude. <laughs> oh, God, you suck. Oh, Wraith is totally gonna show up. I'm going way too slow. So again, I have a fun fact about this treasure, and other treasures like it in this cave. <laughs> so you can see here, it's a very low resolution disc of Legends of Zelda The Wind Waker. So in this cave, there are GameCube discs uh, as treasures. It actually looks like it's been very poorly cut out because there's just like a white line or, like, going around it. It's a very poorly cut out version of Wind Waker on the GameCube. So, in Pikmin 2's game files, there's actually unused treasures, and some of the unused treasures are actually the GameCube version discs. Or GameCube, the Japanese versions 
of Wind Waker, I believe Pikmin 1, 2, and Luigi's Mansion, or it might just be Pikmin 1. Um, and uh, later down the line, because this I saw the Japanese versions on my first playthrough, but it was actually in a patch. Uh, we got updated textures for the GameCube ones, as in they're very, very still low resolution. But we have them now. Also, I do not have the bitter sprays for this cave whatsoever. <laughs> like, I really don't. Okay, well, hold on. Alright, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I gotta. Like, I, I don't have anything else. <laughs> Cookie. Oh, but he gave me a bitter back! He gave me a bitter back! Alright, hold on. No, we're duping that right away. There we go. Two for the price of one, grandfather. <laughs> Edible chessboard. Okay, it's not even the last thing here, dude. <laughs> I actually don't know where it is. Wait, you I can only crush. Oh, it's right here. Oh my god, do what you're told! I gotta kill you. Okay. Grab it and go. Okay, I don't know what's going on with the, the the bomb rocks in this hack now because I I actually went and rewatched one of my old Pikmin 251 episodes out of curiosity, and these bomb rocks worked. Um, they no longer function, and I don't know why. <laughs> Gamma cog. Okay, no wraith yet. Uh, I, I forgot about. I mean, I don't have that. I, I I don't have channel points for this game. I had it for modded Pikmin too, where you could zoom in the whole floor. But I'm not gonna let you do that. I think you specifically made me zoom in the whole floor when I did Submerged Castle and modded Pikmin too, or one of the floors of Submerged Castle. I'm not. We're not doing that. Also, I just realized I have this thing, like, way too high. It's supposed to be right here. I forgot I had to move it back down. Hello! Right, well, that's very rude of you to do that. So, I remember having the Wraith show up on this floor. C G. I remember having the Wraith show up on this floor originally. So, we're probably gonna get that. C-G- Coconut gun. Nut receptacle. And we have super funny antenna beetles, dude. probably get through here. <laughs> Open up my options. Alright, come here, you stupid dumple. This dumple over here is gonna bother me if I don't take it out. Oh, 
Well, so congratulations on your waste points, Pikmin. I call you out when you waste points, that's how it works. Okay, it might not have been this floor that I saw him originally. But a similar looking one, because I remember there being a wide open space. Ham. <laughs> Lightweight tent! I had to guess the antenna beetle would also be part of the problem. I'm gonna grab these as well. <laughs> now he hasn't shown up yet. Every time the screen goes dark, I get scared. Ham. Scrumptious slab. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, something that's actually a, uh, a thing in this game now. Because that wasn't in the game originally. Is that through updates, uh, Bull Bearmen actually do more damage than Red Pikmin? It's something Pickhacker wanted in the game when it first came out, and he couldn't implement it properly until now, as in until like, like a year after it came out. Cause I don't know which way I gotta go. It's certainly not this way though. Over here. I want all my Pikmin with me because I'm too scared to freaking go anywhere else. <laughs> okay, well, it has to be on the other side. Through the water area. That's behind this wall. Yeah, there's Luigi's Mansion. Oh, hi. Actually, that's Mario Sunshine, never mind. It's slightly dark, so it's hard to, hard, hard to see it. What are you doing? Why are you all standing completely still? Okay, just take it. Okay, where is Hole? Hole is over here. Of course, it's behind a freaking gate. Please. Oh, it's a by hand gate and it's blocked off. I typically try to swarm them, but the swarming doesn't really work. I can confirm, this is what Mario Sunshine looks like. Disc of Heroes! Okay, they opened it. We're gonna press our luck and bring these bodies back. The moment I press the A button, the moment I press the A button on the cave, I'll, I'll to go to the next floor. Oh no, it's here! 
We are... Uh, we are in a code blue situation. Warning, warning, warning. Get it, code blue, because we only have blue pick, but never mind. Just get out of here. Nope, we're leaving. <laughs> the moment I press the A button um, to go to the next floor, he shows up. We were like five seconds away from him showing up. <laughs> okay, floor three. This, I definitely feel like I remember the Wraith showing up and like actually having trouble on this floor. Oh, cool. All right, well, uh, pick up that body so you don't bother me. Okay. Also, congratulations on your second waste of points, Pikmin. Don't eat the bulb, man! Crab! Need some of the bulb, man. Also, hello, Mr. B. Welcome to the stream. There is a number on this one. It's Pikmin 251. I am replaying this game. It's my first time playing through this game in two years. And we are currently in the, uh, Submerged Castle clone, where the Water Wraith shows up. Crustacean Grabber! It's the best number, it is, because it's part of your name. Frog, Sky Frog. Bye, Sky Frog. Oh, is there anything even over here? It's an egg. This is not worth my time. Oh, it's got a spicy spray in it. I'm not gonna dupe it since we have so many. <laughs> Alright, well, now that we've wasted plenty of time... Yeah, we're gonna have some trouble here. I remember this wide open area. It's gonna suck in here momentarily. Uh, I apparently lost the blue. This isn't Olimar. Olimar got left behind on the planet and the ship turned into a captain. That's the lore of the game. I didn't make it. We did have Olimar until we didn't. Um, okay, so well, there's the hole. There's still so much in this area to do. I should probably go unlock the hole. So I don't have to later. Uh, which I don't even have to unlock the hole anyway. Hello, Sky Frog. Oh, and a guy from behind the gate who puts my Pikmin in the ground. That's kinky. So, uh, how the hell am I getting this? I don't know where you- I don't remember where you get it. Don't tell me, because I've gotten it in the past. There's Luigi's Mansion. I'm just gonna swoosh Luigi's Mansion out of here real quick.
It might be one of the foreboding forest caves or one of the last two caves here, but I just know you don't get the pluck phone in this cave. pluck of them was a Pikmin 2 thing you get from Submerged Castle in the vanilla game, but here you get the light bulb, so you can see better in caves. <laughs> I have a feeling a Dweevil picked up the thing. Okay, nope, never mind, we're fine. <laughs> Spooky G's Mansion. Disc of Horror. Okay. So last thing here. So we gotta go this way. There's so much left to do. This area is super huge. As in... Oh, there's another area over there. Um, offshoot right here. Yep, yeah, here's the area, I think. Oh, he's already here. Um, okay, he's in the back. Um, here's where things are gonna be a little bit sus. Actually, I don't know where I'm supposed to go for these other treasures, actually. I don't think he follows me in here. I don't think he follows me in here. I don't think he follows me in here. I don't think he follows me. Uh, he does. Good. Um... No, I don't know where it is. Why is it not here? Uh... No, like, legit, where is it? Back there. That's what I remember, and it's behind that gate. I just didn't even see it. He doesn't follow you into this. <laughs> I mean, Pikmin, that's are inevitable to happen, so. I'm pretty sure that they follow captains, specifically. <laughs> so I think I could probably, like, put, like, Louie behind here. Uh, but we might. It's a. It's the Kirby DDD hammer. Uh, we might have to reset. This might be a reset. I'm not sure. Hate this guy. Don't go for that. Uh, okay, he's going in a, in a corner. That's not where I wish for you to be right now. Uh, he's just kind of going all over the place right now. Alright, well, I don't want you to do that. I want you to... Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, I want Jesus Christ. He would help me right now. Um, can we, uh, take this fucking guy out? <laughs> well, I guess get this out of the way. I don't know what the blowhog is doing. Hello! How are you? Um... Yeah, could you not? There was too many Pikmin on this. Um... Ok, 
Okay, no, he's going the other direction. Gonna be nice and slow about it. Where is he going? He's going up again. He's, he's just taking a ride around town in his special, special Kungadero. He's just going around town. I, I, I can't fucking press the A button to kill him because I'm plucking Quickman. But he's like not attacking, so I like don't know what's going on here. <laughs> he's gonna come for me. I hear him. No, he's not. This is very scary. <laughs> he's taking a ride around town. <laughs> oh, he's taking a ride around town. He doesn't care. Okay, there we go. I think that's the last one. It has to be, because if there's, I don't see where there's another one. Pulverizing drum. Okay, yes. All right, let's go. It's a uh, Macho Grubba's theme from. Thousand your door, but slowed down slightly because it's not the same BPM. Uh, okay, hole. Okay, we're leaving. You know, just casually losing like half my party, but that's fine. That's the whole. That's what happens when you're down here. I should probably like use the emulator to speed it up, but uh, I didn't. I feel like I remember re resetting here a couple times, uh, originally. Don't do that. Oh, how do you do? Okie okay, doke, Pikmin. Sounds good. Something I want to talk about right now before I forget um, is that I am subscribed to uh, Noteblock Remix on YouTube. If you are not, you should because he makes really good remixes. Uh, very recently, he pulled out a call saying uh, he wants uh, people to submit uh, freaking. Okay, I need to leave. He wants people to submit things for a remix he had planned to upload, uh, which is um, a Smash Ultimate thing, uh, which is Smash Ultimate medley, and he wanted people to submit, uh, like, videos of them, like, screaming Super Smash Brothers in the style of the announcer from the first game, and it would be included. So, years ago, three years ago now, when Delta in Chapter 1 first came out, he did the same thing for Delta in Chapter 1 medley, uh, saying he wanted people to sing Don't Forget, and I actually, I didn't have this whole setup back then. I was in my old house, so I recorded myself singing Don't Forget off of my phone uh, and submitted it to him. And I'm actually in that video, if you go watch it. Uh, Noteblock recently, earlier today, at the time of this uh, stream, uh, uploaded the video, and I watched it before I went live, which is why I was two minutes late today. Uh, it was a very, very good medley. Go watch it. Just look up Noteblock Remix on YouTube if you're not already subbed to him. Uh, but it's a massive medley of, like, 90 different 
musicians across the entirety of YouTube. And then at the very end, you get to see this at the very end, and I have it circled. I'm right there. It's a very small portion, but I'm right there. I swapped out the shirts. I wore the Red Robin shirt and put the Joy-Con Boy shirt in the background. Um, I have uh, Joy-Con Boys Forever at the bottom left. However, I did not realize this whole thing was going to be very, very tiny, and you can't even see it. You can see Robin, at least. Um, but I'm there. I'm in the video. Uh, and I'm also... Uh, credited in the in the video as such at the very end so you can see me there I just wanted to mention that uh, later today or you can pause the YouTube video and go listen to it because it's freaking good you should uh, listen to that it's a very 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 good smash ultimate medley there's a uh, one song for every fighter and then some he's using some surprises in there as well Oh god, bombs. Let me pick that up. So, I remember this treasure being a reference to something, but I don't remember what the reference was. Someone had mentioned to me that it was a reference. Now please bring this back so I can go grab the other treasure. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> you don't have to say, I will be back, and then I am back in like five minutes. You could just not say anything and I wouldn't even know you were gone. Let's not do this on my, like... It's an unused Pikmin 2 treasure? Neat. I don't know what it's supposed to be other than, like, a tank. Camouflaged battleship. <laughs> Louis doesn't want to throw the rest of the Pikmin, apparently. I'm gonna leave one captain at the hole. So that way we can have easy escape. So we have one more to get here, I remember. Oh, it's actually just right there. I'm pretty sure this is the last one, it's Pikmin. Also bomb. Um. I do not think there's anything else left, it's just this. Weakened flypaper! Wait. Nope, there is one more. It's from a jelly float. Uh, that scares me slightly. Because I have to kill the jelly float. I, I mean... No, Hey Pikmin did it first. I was gonna say this game did it before Hey Pikmin. This ROM hack did it before Hey Pikmin. But no, Hey Pikmin has the amiibos you can get of Olimar and the Pikmin. And he's like, whoa, why is there a statue of me? Disc of knowledge. I'm expecting. Uh, hellish rain happening in, like, a second. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, uh, yes, this one. I'm also pretty sure this is the last floor. Because, uh, Submerged Castle in the, in the original game was five floors, and I think this is also five floors. So if we can get this back without any trouble, that'd be pretty sick. I actually, re I think I remember resetting here like three times. All right, well here he is. Hi, Dad. Uh, can we get you in the thing like right now? Like right now, like right, <gasps> right now. Please come to safety. <laughs> Memorial Maker. Um. We're good. We're leaving. We're fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we are. This area looks familiar, doesn't it? All right, Bull Bearman. You helped me. And now you shall help me more. I need to see the purple Pikmin cutscene in this cave. Because you could technically come here before you get purple Pikmin in flooded fields. But I didn't do that. Hey, there's one more. Thank you, Bull Bearman, for your service. We have exactly 15 left. And you can all get converted. Noble Bearman left behind. So I actually know of a different way of killing the Water Wraith. And I've never really done it. I think I did it in a Colossal Caverns after I found it out, but I don't remember doing it in Modded Pikmin 2. If I did do it in Modded Pikmin 2, I don't remember. I remember he likes to run around a lot in this area. It'd be annoying. You actually just want to swarm him. Alright, well, not like that. Preferably without deaths. Alright, now the the plan is to fucking catch him because he can run out of here and he's freaking annoying and all my Pikmin are slow. Come on, go. Why? But why though? <laughs> but why though? Why is it taking no damage? That's... I don't agree with that. Okay, well... I just wasted two bitter sprays for no reason. Also, hello, Sharker. Welcome to the stream. I'm doing this. I saw you in the credits. Uh, we we actually did it. See, I knew the water wraith wasn't all that bad. What's that? Why did we lose fifty Pikmin here then? Well, gee, Louie, that seems like something my owner should answer, not me. He was shaking. He kept doing it and he was shaking. He was... He wasn't, though. He was on the ground in fetal position. He wasn't shaking anything off. There's nothing he could have done. Specifically, there's nothing he could have done because he was frozen solid. So, I don't know about that one. I don't even need these people right now. Well, what's supposed to happen is that when you kill the Water Wraith when he's bitter, he spews out into, like, five sprays. Uh, but I just wasted two and got nothing back because the game wanted to be stupid. Like, I've done it that exact same way several times when I've played Colossal Caverns. 
Uh, as well as I think I did it in modded Pikmin 2 as well, but my memory is bad sometimes. So... I, I don't know why it wasn't doing the thing. Alright, come on. We got the light bulb. I might take some time to berry grind. I don't know. Crystal Illuminator. Yes, this should allow us to shed some light under on underground caverns. Processing uh, of the energy orb is complete. Wait, it doesn't seem quite as powerful as I was expecting. That's odd. Still, it should give a significant boost to the light in these dark caves. There we go. We can see now. Escape. No, nope, 65 instead of 50, but you know. It's a number. But we completed it, and now we can actually see in caves better. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> 